Welcome to an isometric. We're going to look at two different kinds. First, industry. As we make an isometric, we start with a Y. And notice this Y is a lot more wide open than a normal Y. If I draw a horizontal line here past my vertical, I'll see an angle here and an angle here. In an industry isometric, both of these angles are 30 degrees. This leads to some issues if we're trying to make a circle up here. That circle would end up looking like a giant ellipse. So in our class, we're not going to create a true isometric. We're going to create an alternate isometric. Again, we're going to start with the letter Y. And I'm going to draw my new isometric. And my new isometric starts in the upper corner with a square. As we draw our isometric, we move our entire hand, and we paint our lines in. Don't think you're going to draw an isometric by just going boom, boom, and just making lines, because it will never come out right, and it will be too fast, and the lines won't be parallel. If we draw our isometric this way, we're going to move our entire line. Our hand is going to move back and forth repeatedly. And I'm just going to place my pencil down. What we're doing is getting some muscle memory here to see that my lines remain parallel. I'm going to repeat the process this way. Again, notice I'm tracing my line on my hand. I just move my hand up the page, place the pencil down, and I can end up with a rough square. And again, in my isometric, this will be all square corners on the top. To draw vertical lines, these just head right towards our belly button, so I'm going to paint those in. Notice my hand stays moving, and I just place the pencil down. And lastly, the last two lines. Again, keep my hand moving because the new line is going to be parallel with this and parallel with that. I'm just going to come down here and make a square. So basically what we've done is we've made a rough cube. And there's our first isometric. So the differences again are in a true isometric, we have a 30 degree angle and a 30 degree angle. In my isometric, if I draw a horizontal line, this side will be 30 degrees, this side will be 60 degrees, and in the middle we'll have a 90 degree angle. And that 90 degree angle allows us to draw a perfect circle in our top view if we need to. And there's our first isometric.